That's Laura and Vula. And I, I, you see, I think, JD, that the, the radio, f- no, the BBC Four, the television audience could cope with that on a Saturday or Sunday evening. Yeah, well, it's, pretty late, it's late enough anyway. <laughs> so have you seen anything in the, in the Radio Times that you could do without, let's say? Because there's, there's 80s shows there or 80s Top of the Pops. Do you think, do you think that could be cancelled? Um, well, I think that should go on to older stations. You know, the, the BBC just... I don't know. You know, but now we've lost one of the, the BBC stations to, to, yeah. to uh, in the internet. I think it's, um, it's not a lot to watch on television anymore now. Not on the BBC, anyway. You reckon? No. Yes. You've got to so these repeats don't fascinate you, really? Well, sometimes, if I haven't watched them. <laughs> 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 so there's bits of the 1980s Top of the Pops that you don't remember. Yeah, well, this one here, Sound of the 80s, which is um, happening on, on uh, BBC Four on Saturday evening, Saturday, no, we say Sunday morning. Yes, <laughs> yes. For you, that's the start of your morning. Um, 3.25, I would definitely have to watch it on my, my little computer, I think, because it's a little bit early in the morning for me. So... So what you what you're saying is that you'll you'll try and record it or watch it later. I'll watch it later. Yeah. Yes. I'll, and then and you go through it, and then then you then you uh, say, well, that was good or that was bad, or I knew all that. I didn't need need to watch that. But at least I can stop it and walk away from it if it's not good. Right. Where with with um with a um a live thing, you can't do that. So actually, you you're not gonna. You, you're not really a television person, then, to that extent, are you? So not not a hundred percent, no. So it may- I, I watch it in between doing jobs, you know, that sort of thing. If I've got time, there is a, a Top of the Pops from 1981. Yeah. Uh, before that, so they are they are trying to keep the uh, that sort of um, I don't know what it is, Pop Charts Britannia. Oh gosh, there's lots of things here, but you got you got to watch all night, unfortunately. Yeah, but a lot of that has already been on. Has it? They're repeats. You know, they're, yeah, it says, but they all repeat. Well, not all of them, but some of them are. Quite a lot of them. So, so but maybe it's just me. See, I, I, I think they. The, this are, is you, t- are you a repeat? Well, I might be a repeat. <laughs> yes, I'm a repeat of yeah. what, of what I've been. I, I say things in slightly different ways, but I am sort of repeating myself because I'm, I'm just totally puzzled as to what the BBC thinks it's doing with, with actual television. That's to say, BBC Four. Which seems to be... Well, aimed- you see, as I say, you see, like, it's like Radio 1, Radio 2, 3 and 4. Mm. You knew what you were listening to when you turned into Radio 1, 2, 3 and 4. But now, Radio 1 and Radio 2 almost sound the same. Well, yeah, but JD, J- 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 look, you've, you, you, you said that last week as well. Which yes. Was, so, but for, for new listeners, that, that, um, I'm just going to move on a little bit mm. because they do seem to have a very clear distinction between... This, uh, well, let's say this century and last century, which we, we do sometimes talk about. So music from this century is, is being generated by Radio 1 Live Lounge, let's say, and it's not aimed at television at all. Uh, whereas BBC Four is aimed at people from the last century. It's all repeats, and normally it doesn't recognise whatever's happening on Radio 1 except in the case of Mumford and & Son and uh, Coldplay. Well, where are they? Well, are, they are they classic already, or are they quite new? Mm. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, really. But we don't know. No, no. I mean, that's a different show. The We Don't Know show is on a Tuesday. <laughs> this is Thursday. So we we're supposed to know on this programme, are we? <laughs> well, I um, don't think n- so. N- no. No, but that seems to be how it is. It, because I didn't meet anybody. I, I have been asking the question. I have been repeating myself. There wasn't anybody from the Radio 1 Academy or Radio 1 last week who said anything at all about radio about BBC4, about any of the big weekend being on television. It, they were mentioning the Live Lounge. They were mentioning the iPlayer. Mm. Um, obviously, the, the YouTube, Vivo, all that stuff's going on as well. So but do you do you think it was worthwhile going to it? For me to go mm. to the academy, mm. yeah, definitely. Right, you learnt you learnt something. Oh, d- yeah, definitely. Look at Chris. Chris. Chris is here. Is so he really? He is. I can't see him, folks. He's no, coming he in is, from behind me. He is me. here. So what I'm going to do is play um, 
play some Tom O'Dell. Yep. And um, we'll let him j- in. Just work out whether whether this is BBC Four material. <laughs> 